Hi, it's Jill with Cripflex. Um, the project I'm working on now is for a baby shower. And I am making the banner. And the way that I did this is I made this teddy bear. It's for a little girl with the brown background because the colors of the teddy bear, of course, are brown. So I did a brown background with the pink forefront with the... Um, the letter I used a Mickey font and so the letter actually actually cuts out with the void here and so you can see the pink in the back and then I'm using the teddy bears there's three different images of the teddy bear that I did the centerpieces out of and I'm doing the banner and the way that I'm going to put them together is I'm going to be using this paper rope that is from Recollections which again is um, Michael's and Boy, I, my, my old phone is going to just get worn out here. Um, I never know if it's anything important. I watch it all the time because Amy's running into the final, final um, weeks, final few weeks of her, her pregnancy. She's made it. This is the furthest she's made it on trial number three. Um, the next one in line, or first one was only, or was five weeks premature, and the second one, for those that don't haven't heard this before, was nine weeks premature. And this, her being third, they had anticipated her going early, again, but very early. The doctors now are thrilled and told her she's home free. She can go anytime now, and um, they weren't at all concerned that at this point they wouldn't try and stop it because um, she's actually going now on 36 weeks. So. We're all excited, but she, I think she's very hopeful now of going. I think she wants to go now. I think she's had it. She's been sick this entire pregnancy. But I said, just her luck, she'll go overdue. And she said she read online that when women have these shots for high risk of progesterone, that they can go late. And I said, you know... That's probably going to be you, but we're just thrilled she's gone this far because, like I said, this is the furthest she's ever gone. I am putting these teddy bears in between the letters instead of on the letters because it's a cutout, it's a cutout of a teddy bear, so I don't want to cover it with another teddy bear. So I'm doing it, and I'm trying to cover over to the ear. I want them to overlap so when the banner's hanging... Um, they, the teddy bears are overlapping. So I have eyeballed it and I want it over the ears. So that, oh, I know why. I'm pulling this one's out of place. It's because it's a follower. It's sticking here and following me as I go. Um, I have the two centerpieces that I'm going to be putting together that have the base of the diapers. I've done them before, but I know there are so many videos on my channel that um, some of you newer viewers probably haven't seen everything. Uh, no, not probably. I know haven't seen everything. And, and some of you, I highly recommend, do not go back to the beginning days when I started doing YouTube because there are some totally ridiculous videos out there. But no one wants me to take them down except for me, but um, you've asked them and not, so I'm not doing it. I'm just telling you that it's new. Don't go past anything prior to the last two years. In the olden days, uh, used to do things a lot differently, to say the least, a lot differently. Oh, my daughter was making fun of me today. I, I had to bring this up, pulling my necklace out of here. I had my necklace on yesterday and um, somebody was going oh holy metal around my neck and um, because I always wear my my spiritual my kids my grandkids and my um, what do I want to call them, my spiritual necklaces I keep them on at all times I never take them off so when I wear another piece of jewelry whether it goes or not these don't come off these are my grandkids and um, well anyway and of course I always have to have my neck bracelets on and my daughter was seen yesterday at the, the um, um, reveal for Kendall that we had at the house. She was talking to somebody and said that 
when I go to the doctor and they weigh me in, they always tell them to take 10 pounds off for my metal. <laughs> um, or that I tell them, please take 10 pounds off for my metal. I don't remember how she worded it, but it was pretty funny. And I said, yep, that's the way it rolls. That's the way I go. I like my metal. When we went to Disney, whatever I wore, I had to make sure wasn't metal. Because when you go through the metal, or the detector, the whatever, I didn't want to be setting it off and holding up everybody because I had to remove all my jewelry. But guys, that's that's me. Been like that forever. And don't foresee me changing in anything. I am who I am. But, yeah, between my rings and my armwear and my neckwear. I just love that now because this one is pretty heavy. Well, it's not that it's heavy, but it, there's a lot of metal going on here. But it weighs me down on windstorm. What can I say? What can I say? I like, I like it. Even when the grandkids, when they're little and they're babies and they start reaching out, you know how they reach out and grab everything? I did, I did remove earrings because um, ears are a little bit easier to rip off. So, um, I don't wear those because I've now got new babies and it's called preventative measure. I want to keep my ears intact. Okay, it's not hot out and guys, I say this in every single video. I really work up a sweat when I'm, for some reason it's when I'm videotaping. And I know it's not because I get nervous because I don't. I don't. I'm way past that. I and mean, speaking of nervous, Kendall last night at the reveal, when she first got there and she was supposed to walk down the red carpet after the limousine pulled up, we were going, Kendall, walk down the red carpet. Everybody's lined up along it and, and you know, they're cheering and everything for her and trying to get her. Well, she was so embarrassed. I'm embarrassed, but not not in a bad way. She just gets, when, she's this, when everybody's looking at her, she just gets... Um, out of her element and the first thing that she did was run to see all of her friends the little kids and it was so cute because she's over there hugging all her girlfriends and guys you know what I'm thinking you know what I'm thinking I don't know what I'm thinking but I'll tell you in a minute I'll tell you in a minute what I'm thinking <gasps> is dumping those out. I am thinking is these bears need something on them. So you know what? Yep. They do. The bears themselves, and guys, it's not really going to matter um, afterwards if someone said they were better without or with. Here's the first one. But I'm thinking these bears, I want more on them because they're too plain. That's just my opinion. So here's what I'm going to do. Maybe. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay these on here. And I'll take a picture. And um, vote. I want everybody to comment and vote. With or without the googly eyes on the teddy bear. And the majority rules. I'm not going to tape them down. All I'm going to do is lay them down and take a picture and I'm going to count on you guys telling me yes or no, with or without the eyes. I just think the faces look kind of plain with just the silhouette. So I'm going to lay these on and take a picture and then I'm going to do the other part of the name and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put together the centerpieces. So I'll just take a picture of this for now and, and um, worry about the other name. When they hang, keep in mind the blacks will hang down. They're not going to be all googly and all over the place. They're going to hang down. But since they're laying, they look kind of funky. But you guys let me know, and then I will decide to go for it or not. I'll be back.
Hi, I'm back again, and now I'm going to finish up the two centerpieces. And what they are is the same bear, teddy bear. Here's one, and here is two. Uh, one with the keys and one with the blocks. I've got them all ready to go here. And what I'm going to do is take some newborn diapers. Okay, my ribbons there, and wrap them around an inch from the bottom because they're going to be going in the wood base. So, I'm going to wrap the diapers around. Then after the party, I'm sure people out there have seen when they do the diaper cakes and um, all sorts of things that they make with baby's diapers then they can use them after the party. Now, I gotta see how many I can get around here, and it looks like four. Four is a magic number. Now, I'm going to take the pink and white polka dot ribbon and wrap it around to hold my diapers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, don't want to I'm going to hot glue this ribbon together, but I don't want it on the diaper because I do not want the diapers ruined. And my hot glue gun was laying up on a plastic bag. So there might be a little bit of plastic bag on this. Okay, let me hold that in there. And clip this off for the next one. <clears throat> you know, organization is so crucial. Um, I have this this crepe paper for like Easter paper, party paper here, in every color, every single color. But I have um, stuff that is in another room because I run out of space. So now that I need it, do you think I can find it? No. So I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna buy more because I need pink. And I'm going to go buy some more, and then when I get home, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to find it. Just thought I'd let you know, because we were finishing up the Little Mermaid centerpieces, and we're, we were running out of all the glitter stuff, and I said, oh man, now i got to wait till Christmas to get more. So I cleaned up the closet looking for this in pink, and instead I found a huge bag, huge bag, of the glitter stuff that I needed to finish my pieces yesterday. So I ended up taking it out of my Christmas decorate. Well, anyway, so now what will happen is when I need something for my next piece, I'll go looking for it and I will find the pink in that that I don't need any longer. Where's my little pieces? Where's my little guys? I had, oh, here they are. Because the little guys are going to go on the front of this diaper. But what I'm going to do is, since I have this as the black one, on this one for the, for the teddy bear on the front, I'm going to use the one I dropped. Um, ooh, I did find some raffia. I also lost a bag of raffia, so I'm sure when I'm digging around for the raffia, I will find... I just... I tell you, I need to knock that wall out. Okay, let me put some hot glue on, again, just the ribbon so that the diapers don't get ruined. And there we have one. Oh, I gotten this out. I don't know why I was thinking I was gonna tie it together with that. Definitely having an out of body on that one. Okay, there's one. I'll take a few pictures now. The next one is going to be the one with the keys. And I'm gonna wrap these around as tight as I can. And there we go, we got one. I'm surprised they even have these. I'm surprised Jenna didn't see them and take them for Lane. Two. And. They smell like newborn baby. Three. And four. 
There we go. And come on, don't fall out on me. There we go. And we're going to take this and wrap this ribbon around as tightly as I can get it. And make sure we don't have a. There we go. Hot glue. And wrap that baby tight. Cut off that little extra. There we go. And now what I want to do is put the teddy bear for the blocks on this one. Put them in the base first so I know where to set my teddy bear. And I'm putting these on a round white base. There we go. And what I do is I'm putting it where I overlapped in the front where I have a little bit of a space and where I, I glued the, the ribbon is where I'm going to put the bear to cover all of that. I'm going to hot glue that on the ribbon. And there we go. And then what will happen with these, however, as I've stated, I don't have the pink, so I'm going to use the white and show you. You know what? Where on earth? I'm, I can picture it. They're in plastic Ziploc bags. Why can I not find it? And I got tons of colors. Let me see if I stuck it up here before I go gluing all this together. That's what happens when you have this much stuff. I'm not finding it, guys. I'm looking, I know it's in most of these drawers, and I don't know where it is. So, just so you can get an idea of what I'm going to be doing with it, and why I need it, is because that is going to go around the top of the centerpiece. And I'm just, for practical purposes right now, putting this on this one, so that you can get an idea that this will be in pink. Should I ever find it, and if I don't find it, then I will be buying pink. Then when I get home and unload my goodies, I will find where I put these. Love messy materials. Love it. Gotten awfully good, um, kind, sweet, wonderful, amazing remarks from folks on the video of Kendall and her Make-A-Wish. Um... And I want to thank everybody for your kind, supportive words, because this has been a journey for us, that is for sure. And um, even though things are going great and she's doing wonderful, it doesn't change the fact that she does have leukemia. And, you know, it uh, when you see pictures and, and watch videos and things like that, you forget or you, you don't the reality. It is. It's, it is a fact. Guys, I'm going to look back here. One more shot just to see if I can show you in pink. I'm thinking they might be behind here. As I have a bag of something. Yeah. I found a big bag of something. Raffia. <laughs> the raffia I couldn't find. Oh, that cracks me up. Because I went out and bought more raffia because I couldn't find the raffia. Guys, I need somebody to come here and, and um, reorganize or remind me where everything is. Jenna finds stuff all the time and she just cracks up because she's always finding something. And so that's why it takes her a lot longer to do something and then it does me. is because she's very thorough and she goes through every single drawer I have before putting something together. Because she knows she's going to find something that I didn't even know I had. And anyway... Um, that is it, and I will get this, some pictures taken, and get this uploaded. So, see you in a bit. Bye-bye.